Okay, we continue experiment 2.2 to relate between pressure and liquids and density of liquid. Look at this picture. In these two containers contains water and cooking oil. You observe the spurting distance of water that coming out and also cooking, cooking oil. So what do you infer from this picture? So the conclusion that you made based on this picture is known as inference. So based on the picture, we can write down an inference. The pressure in the liquid depends on density of liquid. Hypothesis related to the experiment to be carried out. The higher the density of liquid, the higher the pressure in the liquid. Aim of this experiment is to study relationship between density of liquid and pressure in liquid. Variables for this experiment is manipulated variable density of liquid rho, Responding variable pressure and liquid that are represented by difference in height of water column D between the two water levels in the U tube. Constant variable depth of liquid. Apparatus required half meter rule, three 600 milliliter beakers, or we can use measuring cylinder, U tube, silicon tube, or rubber tube, diesel funnel with its mouth covered by a thin sheet of rubber and retort stand. Materials, masking tape, water, alcohol, and glycerin. The setup of apparatus is same as the previous experiment, pressure in and depth. Huh? So what, the, what is the difference is that we use different type of liquid okay, that placed in the measuring cylinder. So in the lab, you can, you can use okay, any type of liquid that have different density. For example, in this activity, we are using alcohol, water, and glycerin. So you can look at the value of density of liquid here. So from the experiment, when we when we uh, carry out this activity, we need to make it depth of liquid constant, meaning the tissue panel is immersed at constant depth. Okay, and then we can change the liquid. Uh, for example, water change to glycerin and then change to alcohol to get the reading eh, or the difference in height of water columns D. Okay. This is a sample of readings that you can get. You can try this in the lab later. So for alcohol, we get the difference in height of water column D 1.8 cm. For water is 2.8 cm. For glycerin is 4.0 centimeter. So the result will be different depends on the experiment that you carried out and the liquid that you use in this experiment. You watch this video. For this pressure and density of liquid, I just show you one type of liquid that oil for water we, we can use the result from the previous experiment, pressure and pressure and depth of liquid. So at constant depth of liquid 4 cm, we can record eh, the difference in level of colored water. And then you can replace the liquid with alcohol and glycerin eh, to get the difference in level of colored water. Okay, now let's look at the data analysis. So the picture, the, pre or the previous picture that I showed to you for water and cooking oil, if we compare the, the spurting distance, uh, the horizontal uh, distance, x1 and x2. For water, we can see clearly here, the spurting distance x1 is longer than spurting distance x2. So this one shows that pressure due to water is larger than pressure due to cooking oil at same depth. So we can explain this situation. Density of oil is smaller than density of water. This one will cause pressure of oil is smaller than pressure of water. Thus, the spurting distance for oil is shorter than spurting distance of water. Then we get x2 is smaller than x1. Okay. So data analysis based on based on the table of data or the result uh, that obtained from this experiment. We can relate the difference in height of water column in the U-tube to density of liquid. The higher the density of liquid, 
the longer the difference in height of water column in the U-tube. So what conclusion can be drawn from this experiment? The higher the density of liquid, the higher the pressure in liquid. Discussion. Why is the method in Let's Try in page 42, this is in your textbook, not suitable to study relationship between density and pressure in a liquid? We can use this one to study relationship between pressure and depth. So when the liquid with different densities are placed in the same container, the hole that plays at same depth in the liquid does not experience the pressure due to liquid only. But the total pressure, meaning may be caused by two liquids, may be caused by three liquids. Okay? The pressure in liquids at a certain point is caused by weight of liquid above the point. So this is the situation where you place the three liquids at, in the same container. But if you place in the different container, we can just look at the spurting distance. Why is mercury not suitable as liquid in YouTube? This is because mercury is a denser liquid. For denser liquid, the difference in level of mercury column just rises very short. Sometimes we cannot uh, record uh, the difference in uh, level of mercury because of its higher density. As we know that the density of liquids uh, sometimes varies uh, smaller. For example, oil is 790 kg meter, meter to the power negative 3 and water is 1000 kg meter negative 3. So meaning for that small difference in density, the mercury column will not show clear difference. Okay, so I think for this part, I will stop here. So meaning we have done eh, two experiments regarding factors affecting pressure. So from here, we can summarize that Pressure is directly proportional to depth of liquid, provided that uh, density and G are constant. And pressure is directly proportional to density of liquid, provided that depth and G are constant. So that's all for today. Bye.